from One Piece chapter 835 review. Now, I think we're the very good chapter of One Piece. Now, my personal favorite part of the chapter was anything involving Nami in this week's chapter. Because I would say since like any lobby, any lobby was the last time Nami was really spotlighted as being a badass. Where Nami got like a really badass, really cool moment, and was really made to be a very independent character on her own without the help of another straw hat. Now, this chapter, Nami, like when she's fighting Blue Brulee, I believe her name is, she like extends her climb attack like it's a freaking power pole for Dragon Ball, hits Brulee with it, does like a backflip and lands. Like that would thing was so epic. I also loved Chopper going into Monster Point and attacking uh Brulee. That is the kind of stuff I wanted to see from Chopper post time gift. Monster Point being used for real serious situations in combat. I was not a fan of Oda turning it into like a cute little gag thing. The like, cute little gag kind of thing on Fifth Man Island where he was like in Monster Point and he was like doing the stupid little cute dance. No. 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 That is Chopper's cool, badass form. It should stay that way. So that was really epic. Now another thing I want to talk about this week is the fact that we finally get to learn about Bruce Lee's fruit. Her power is the Mirror Mirror Fruit. She's a Mirror Mirror Woman, or human as she calls herself. And she can, of course, create illusions and apparently trap people inside of mirrors. So she has captured Carrot, and most likely it is implied she may have captured uh, Chopper this chapter. But at this point, what I really want to talk about is Big Mom's ability. And Big Mom, her ability, and my thoughts on the way it's being used. Because I'm not 100% fond of fond of it. So first of all, the Apple Juice guy and Big Mom's former husband, so I think we can all agree he has lost his penis. There is no way he still has a penis after having sex with that monster that is known as Big Mom. Um, I feel really bad for the guy that he is also the father of Big Mom's first two children, who one of which is Lola, by the way. So to anyone who has been saying Lola is Big Mom's daughter, to all of you people that have been saying Lola the daughter of Big Mom since, like, Fifth Man Island, you are a great prognosticator. Good for you. Now, what I want to talk about is Big Mom's ability. Now, Big Mom is the eater of the soul, soul fruit, as revealed by the apple juice guy, her, who is, of course, as I mentioned before, her former husband. Now, apparently, if you live in Totland, every two months, you have to go, and it's either leave or life, and you have to give up a part of your lifespan to Big Mom. And apparently, six years, and you stay on Totland for six years, that would be equivalent of having, eventually you would have had an entire year of your life removed. So six years, if you equivalent to, you would, over the course of six years, you would lose an entire year of your life. Now, I am not a fan of this. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Why don't you like it? Well, because it's so stupid. Why would you give up a, a part of your life? Give up your life. You're, give up part of your lifespan. Make yourself live. Instead of living longer, you're shortening your life. For what? For protecting a big mom? I mean, I get to an extent that you're probably going to live longer when you're under a Yoko protection. But I mean, still. I mean, why would you do that? I mean, really, that's terrible. I mean, why would you want to follow somebody with such a dangerous ability? I, I don't really think that makes very sense. That makes a lot of sense. But then there was, of course, also the way she could use it. There are so many possibilities for that. If she can rip out your life force. I mean, and she can also put the, like, she can also sprinkle out the parts of the soul and life force into animals and objects. And that is why the flowers and animals can talk. That explains the talking crocodile and the talking flowers and all of that. So, yeah, I mean, it's all thanks to Big Mom to broken ass fruit. Been thinking out what you could do with Big Mom Devil Fruit. I could do an entire video on the thing you could do with this Devil Fruit. I mean, it's so broken. Also, I love that the name of a Brulee's henchman being homies. I just, I found that actually hilarious. 
At first, I actually thought that was a manga stream thing. Uh, I thought that was just one of those times where manga stream was just taking a liberty and just changing it. But no, it doesn't appear to be that way. Which is really cool. It appears they're actually called the homies. Now, what are my thoughts on Chopper and uh, Carrot being captured? Most likely, at least. Okay, I don't like it because at this point, I feel like we are, we're already dealing with enough. We're dealing with rescuing Sanji. Then we have all the other subplots that are going. All these other subplots that are barely even subplots anymore. And we have a stuff going on in Wano. We have all these other plot lines going on. Then we have the main plot line right now, which is all this stuff with uh, saving Sanji and all of this. And Bru Lee even said in this chapter, uh, Big Mom said, under no circumstances can we let new people meet up with Sanji. And I'm just thinking, what? Just what? Like, and now Chopper and Character Catcher too? Are you kidding me? So now we need to save them? Is that a joke? I guess it seems like Oda trying to avoid avoid showing us Sanji. There is a theory that we're going to have like a Valentine Day massacre during the wedding. It's on Valentine's Day this in 2017. And Oda may be fucking around so we can, you know, uh, put that chapter out on Valentine's Day. I don't think Oda's that stupid to mess around so we can like goof off for that long. I don't think he's that stupid, but that's just my opinion, of course. And, er and early on in the chapter, Luffy made some comment about how he was, he thought that he thought they all was up. He, he thought the crew had just decided to multiply themselves or something around those lines. And I am sorry, but tell me your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. Has Luffy become stupider post time skip? Did I do a video on Luffy's stupidity progressing? Nana even commented that he seems to be hitting a new level of stupidity. And I'm like, yeah, this is a new level. This is odd. The Lucy was not that stupid originally. This chapter was funny. It gave me a couple of really good laughs. This is probably my best One Piece chapter we've had in a while. The past two chapters have been really good. The only thing in this chapter that I didn't like was I was a little disappointed we didn't get to see more of what was going on with Sanji. But then again, that's just Oda's style. He's so... He tends to focus on one series of events for a couple of chapters, then focus on another. So I would say maybe that's two, two chapters, we'll probably get like two more chapters of this, and then we'll focus a little bit more on Sandy, and seeing to see what he's doing, going back and forth between my main focus, being a certain group, every couple of chapters. But yeah, I mean, if I had to rate the chapter, I would give it a 9 out of 10. I really, I can't pinpoint anything really wrong with it. Because everything, even being, even though we were still goofing off and Mr. Deucing Woods at the end, it was worth it because of all the information we got. Because this chapter was a massive information dump. And, you know, I'll take the information any day. But, guys, overall, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. But tell me what you thought of the chapter in the comment section down below. Now, listen here. If you stay till the end of the review, you'll get to know this little piece of interesting information. From what I understand, Jonah Jump is on break next week, meaning there will be no One Piece chapter, or no Bleach chapter, or no anything next week. There will be no chapters coming out next week, meaning there will not be one, any One Piece chapter for the next two weeks. That is quite unfortunate. I will have a video go up next Thursday. It will most likely be either be a discussion or a gameplay video. I don't know what it will be, but I will have something go up on Thursday. Maybe a live stream? I'm not sure. Tell me what you guys want to say next Thursday in the comment section down below, and I can work on getting that to you guys. But guys, I hope you, if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more One Piece reviews. And above all else, guys, have a great day. It's the One Piece Nation, signing out.